Hey there, Lisa Torres here. And in this video, we're going to talk about cold market prospecting and recruiting. I know there's many of you right now that are in network marketing, affiliate marketing. Maybe you have your own digital courses. Maybe you have your own group coaching programs, your one-on-one -on -one coaching programs, your mastermind events, or whatever it is that you have going on in your business. At the end of the day, you know, there's marketing, yes. You're doing Facebook ads, you're doing, you know, posting on social media or whatever kind of marketing that you're doing. But at the end of the day, when it comes to networking with people on social media, it's all about prospecting and recruiting, right? After, of course, you're building the relationship, of course, but you got to learn how to prospect and recruit the right way. And the right way is, like I said before, starting those relationships, building those relationships, nurturing those relationships, asking questions, asking the right questions, and seeing where the conversations go. Now, here's the good news. Many of you are thinking, oh, I don't want to sit here all day long prospecting people on my cell phone or, you know, on the computer all day long. No problem. You want to know why? Because when it comes to prospecting and recruiting someone into your business, whether it's your own product or a network marketing or affiliate marketing company, it doesn't matter. It all boils down to starting that conversation starting, you know, initiating that first contact, that first connection, okay? That's where it starts. And so what I want to share with you in this video is one of the things that I do in my business that helps me build relationships, you know, network with people, prospecting and recruiting, okay? This is, some, this is a strategy or a technique that you absolutely must learn if you want to be successful in your business. Now, what I'm going to teach you is the cold market prospecting because a lot of you actually want to go out there and you want to find new blood because maybe you tapped into all of your social networking friends or friends and family or whatever the case may be. You already tapped into what you already have and now it's time to go out there and get some new blood, right? Get some new people to build relationships with new people to talk to. So one, because I have several, and maybe down the road I'll share more with you, but one of the strategies that I have that I, that I know, I know it's going to help you, is this, connecting with your friend's friends on social media, okay? And this can apply for Facebook, and it can, it can apply for Instagram, it could even apply for YouTube, right? Um, it could apply for Twitter, okay? Social media, no matter what platform, this strategy can work. But what I'm gonna share with you, this one specific strategy on cold market prospecting that I'm about to share with you is on Facebook, but just understand that what I'm about to teach you can be applied to other social platforms. So we're gonna go ahead and transition now into my Facebook account so I can walk you through the process. So the first place you wanna go is your newsfeed, your Facebook newsfeed. And what you wanna do is you wanna scroll through uh, your friends, okay? So if you see your friends posting stuff, right? You see your friends posting on your newsfeed. So for example, um, let's say Kate McShay, um, she posted something and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at you know, the, the uh, comments, we're going to look at the comments, oh, excuse me, the comments and the likes that she's getting. And so what you'll do is you'll just basically hover over it, right? If you click it, you're going to see all the people that you're not friends with. However, you do have a mutual friend, okay? You have a mutual friend. You're just not connected with that person yet. So one of the things that I like to do is if I see that this person liked a recent post, that tells me one thing. It tells me that they're active on Facebook, and that's what we want. We want to connect with people who are actually engaging with other posts. And so if I click on her, you know, the people that liked her stuff, this is going to open, and you're going to see that like if there's no message button here, it means that you're you're not friends, right? So it will say 
add friend if you're not friends, and it will say message if you are friends. So we want to look at the ones that say add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, right? See all these people that she's friends with that I'm not connected with. Now there's a second step to this, okay? Uh, when it comes to cold market prospecting and recruiting, what we're gonna do right now is, um, we're not trying to prospect anybody, we're not trying to recruit anybody. This is the very first stage of that prospecting and recruiting process. We need to make the connection first, okay? And so what I'll do is I will click on the person's profile, and I'm actually going to right click so I can open it up in a new window. And then I'm going to go to the person's profile and I'm looking for a few things. So we already know that this person is active because they're connecting with, you know, they're actually engaging on the Facebook news feed, which is perfect. But now I want to see what does this person do? And the pl best place for me to find that out is here in their intro. So you can see. I help coaches, consultants, and service providers broadcast their authority with compelling videos. Okay, awesome. So she teaches people how to use videos, which is perfect because um, you know I'm a, I, you know I like to network with other people who are marketing and they're building their businesses online and really whatever they're promoting: network marketing, affiliate marketing, coaching programs, or courses, digital programs. Okay, so. That's the second thing that I'll look for. Now, the next thing that I'll look for is when was the last time she posted, okay? Because that's another indication that she's actually active on Facebook and we want to act, we want to connect with people that are active on Facebook because if they're not, like her last post was yesterday, which is perfect because if her last post was, let's say a month ago, two months ago, a year ago or more. I don't want to be friends with that person, regardless if they liked the post, or, you know, the, the um, my friend's post on my newsfeed or not. Okay, why? Because she's not active on Facebook. And my goal here is with this initial connection is to actually connect with people who are active. Write that down. Active being the key word. Super, super duper important. So now that we know that Number one, she's engaging with other people's posts, right? My friend's post, perfect. She's also, um, you know, updating her profile, okay? Uh, and then she's, you know, uh, she also has an intro here where I know exactly what she's doing. This way, when I start the conversation, I already know what she's into, which is super important because we want to connect with people that are most likely to buy our stuff right? We want to, again, we want to connect with people who are most likely to buy our stuff. And so this person is most likely to buy one of my stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy one of her stuff. I don't know. But we're talking about the initial connection here. And so you have to pre-qualify people before you actually go and reach out to them. So that's the first step. The second step in this process is now that I've pre-qualified her, I'm gonna go ahead and send her a friend request. And then I'm also going to send her a message based on um, you know, what she does. So I'm going to click on message and I'm going to type, hey Tamara, um, great to connect with you. I just sent you a friend request. I see that you teach entrepreneurs how, I can't see, how to uh, do videos in their business. How long, always, End with a question. How long have you been doing that? Looking forward to hearing from you. Okay, just a friendly, you know, just an initial connection, chat, whatever. And that is how you start. That is the very, that's the second step to, to the process of prospecting, recruiting cold people, okay? Now, she's cold, even though we have a mutual friend, okay? She's still cold because 
I don't personally know her. We're not connected on Facebook, okay? We're not friends on Facebook, which means she's a cold market, okay? The great thing about this strategy is that we do have a connection, okay? And now that I've confirmed that she is a good fit for me to somebody, you know, somebody uh, to connect with, whether she buys my stuff or not, because like I said, maybe she has value that I could get from her where I can buy something from her or, you know, likewise, okay? But the, the idea here is the connection, okay? So now we just have to sit here and wait for her to respond. So what I would do now is basically wait for her to respond and then pick up that conversation. And the goal with this conversation is to ask questions right? Strategic questions that will get them to answer you in the way that you want them to answer you so that you're positioning yourself to open up the doors for something that you have to offer. There's a strategic way of doing that. And of course, I'm not going to share it on this video because I, I just want you to get the process going of doing cold market prospecting on Facebook or any of the other social media platforms. So, Again, this is Lisa Torres. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell button. And click the link below also to register for my free masterclass where I'm going to show you how I was able to enroll 31 new members in one weekend with one Facebook group. I think you're going to love it. So with that being said, go ahead and register now at lisatorresspeaks.com forward slash PWC Masterclass, or simply click the link right below this video. And I will see you on the next video cast. Bye for now.